Hello, wonderful little webs. It is I, David, least fit of all of the nerds. And uh, this is a burn alert. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I learned with you in the sweatiest, most self-indulgent way possible. And today, I'm feeling sorry for myself because, frankly, I had a chat with Joseph Prusa last night. He's the guy who invented this thing um, and the kits and created a very big and successful company out of um, the Czech Republic. Um, and he has converted that company to start helping people out with this whole virus issue. Um, he has converted some of his uh, factory to developing disinfectants and uh, hand sanitizer. He's also 3D printing uh, face shields for medical professionals and uh, emergency workers. Um, and I am, I am incredibly, incredibly indebted to him for, for what, for what he's doing. I mean, he was a legend in the 3d printing world already just for, for this whole thing. Um, but the fact that he's taken such a proactive and smart, um, approach to this virus is, uh, should be a lesson to us all, frankly. Um, I tweeted about this this morning. I'm sort of on a bit of a, a bit of a, bit of a rant, should we say about this? Because I feel like perhaps we're not taking this seriously enough. Um, we got an... We got an email from a friend of ours today who's a doctor who is saying that they're already low on, on uh, N95 masks. Um, and that's in, in an Ontario hospital, which is inexcusable to me. I don't understand why we wouldn't have these kind of things in place. Uh, uh, I am hearing stories in the States, um, you know, my RepCorp friend being approached uh, with people desperate for, for these face shields to be printed up. Um, and I'm concerned that perhaps we're not doing enough. I. I don't know what skills I have. I don't know how to help. It's very, very frustrating. I feel very guilty because, you know, I've been printing you know, 3D printed Stargate tchotchkes instead of, instead of life-saving um, life masks and stuff. And I'm, and I'm concerned that we're, many of us are not taking this, this self-isolation uh, properly. Um, and, and I just talking to him has got me very, very concerned. Uh, not panicked, but just a little angry and frustrated that, that, that we're just not prepared for this. Um, and I think we need to be prepared, over-prepared for if something goes wrong. What happens if we do run out of these masks? Well, then they will need something that may not be perfect, but may at least save a, a couple of doctors from a couple of nasty, uh, nasty uh, possible um, um, uh, infections. I mean, I, I, I just, I feel like if we can sew masks or 3D print masks or, or even freaking build them out of pop bottles, whatever the hell is necessary to do this, I don't have the skills to do it. I'm begging people who do to show me the way. Um, certainly on, on Twitter, I, I really want the government to let us know what we can do. I think we need some very clear news on numbers. We need some testing. We need a lot of stuff going on here, which I don't think is happening. I think we spend a lot of our lives with these kind of faceless, faceless epidemics around the world uh, that just that just can't we just can't understand, and I think we're we are going to pay the price of this if we don't if we don't act soon. Um, and and you know what? Even if we get even if I'm completely wrong, even if there's no issues at all, and we have a bunch of these useless face masks, who cares? At least they were ready to go in case. And if we're wrong, we're wrong. I you know who cares? I don't. I don't feel, you know, there's no, I don't want any, I told you so. I don't any, any, I take no, no glee in any of this. I just feel like if there's something we could be doing, we should be doing, even if it's just staying at home and not lining up for freaking new games at GameStop, as was happening in Toronto here. I, you know, we have to, we have to take this seriously. Um, anyways, I'm sorry. That's my rant. I just, yeah, it's just getting to me a bit. You know what I mean? I hope I'm doing enough. Um, um, you know, I'm hoping that the social media stuff can at least maybe just kick a couple of people in the butts to, 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 to help out with some stuff, or maybe just give some information that could be useful to us. Maybe some, maybe some stuff that I can do. I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I've been trying to, um, educate my tech bandits. We've been having some really interesting discussions online. I take on the tech bandits online. Now we do a zoom meeting. We all get together, did it three times last week. I'm hoping to do it all week next week. Um, because frankly, I learn as much as they do. And I really think, you know, talk about the next generation of inspired minds. I mean, we, you know, they're, they're going to grow up with this. They're going to, what we do now is what they will be talking about to their kids. And I, and I'm very concerned that, you know, I'm very concerned as to what, as to what my, my kids and my, and my, uh, the next generations are going to say about this. So, um, you know, at least, you know, say, you know, say to yourself, at least, you know, have I done everything that I can? Um, and, and if there are creative solutions, I think we should pursue them because I think now's the time. 
Um, and uh, there you go. There you have it. Um, in the meantime, I'm trying to keep fit. Obviously, um, I did uh, 70 minutes on the on the torture device today, and I got to say it was a blessing because I just I had to get away. I, I my head is so full of information and misinformation and 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 general chaos. Um, I needed to get away from from that stuff. So I uh, so I sheltered in data. Uh, I was looking at um, using Excel again. So some really cool things like using aggregate, this new aggregate feature in um, um, in um, in analyzing the data in in Excel sheets, and uh, um, and I'm now into the storytelling of data. This is the last portion of the data scientist stream, I guess, or want of a better word, um, that will allow me to put another thing in my LinkedIn profile. But uh, LinkedIn learning again, it's 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 been fantastic, and I think what a great opportunity now. You know, you're cooped up. Make sure you do some exercise. Um, uh, make sure you have some fun admittedly but make sure you get some exercise um and uh and now's a great time to learn uh, learn some some new new tools that could be useful uh, the next time something like this happens so um until we geek again sweaty or not stay safe and cheerio